So in the last video, we finally reached level 1,250, and with that, we unlocked the cursed ship. Now in this area, there is actually a sword that I cannot wait to get my hands on. So let's get right in right away. Now currently, now currently, we're using Coco. I actually don't know if I want to be using this. Like we have a lot of good choices here, including the Dark Blade. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go for power. Let's Dark Blade it up for now. Now what we're specifically after is Ectoplasm. We're going to get it. We're going to have to get a hundred of it, which is quite a lot so this can take a little while all right and i think yeah okay with that we've unlocked the second area already so talk to the boy and ship engineers it is let's go now just by killing those couple of guys we already have 45 ectoplasm huh when did i get that i don't even what okay well we're only gonna need about 55 more to be able to unlock the sword Wait, who's this guy? I don't even remember this guy. Bizarre rifle? 25. Actually, I don't think I'll do that. Thank you, though. Okay, so far, we're doing pretty good. We're actually getting these levels pretty fast. I feel like we're getting them faster than we're, like, supposed to, to be honest. Now, I'm actually gonna keep grinding these guys up here because I feel like they're way easier to just grind. So, yeah. Now, I did a video in this area pretty recently, so I think these guys actually give you more uh, ectoplasm. Like, they have a higher chance or something. And I just want to quickly confirm that or deny that because earlier i was getting them almost every single time you know what i'm just gonna assume that it's not better and i'm just gonna go keep grinding over here 75 let's go ah leave me alone what are you doing you animal die that's why you don't mess with me uh oh enabling pvp enabling pvp enabling pvp i'm running oh 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 okay um why why do you want to come after me okay i'm gonna juke him i'm gonna juke him and the moment he comes out <laughs> get juked idiot <laughs> he just lost track of me <laughs> All right, back to grinding I go. Uh-oh, I think he came back. Why does he want to kill me so bad? And I'll just slice you. How about that, huh? How about I just slice you? Good luck dodging it. What up? Okay, I can't do anything there. I don't have enough abilities. Come on! Ah, oh, there it is! Okay, uh, when you actually reach 100, you get the title, The Ghost, and you get a new color called Bond? I think it, just, I was, I think it was called Bond. Anyway, we can now kill this guy and then talk to the... I think this is the guy? An admin, yes! Hello! Talk. Yes! Would you like to trade? the 100 ectoplasm for the midnight blade yes i would so now we have gotten rid of pretty much all of our ectoplasm except one of them but we have the midnight blade dude baby let's go okay now we're gonna have to reach level 150 to even get our first ability here so uh yeah it's gonna it's gonna be quite something now, for some reason, I'm feeling like this blade is actually doing more damage than the dark blade I was using just a second ago. Okay, wait here. I actually want to see this. Okay, so if I grab this sword, the dark blade, actually, it has way more mastery. So it's not even, it's not even a fair comparison. Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. Five slices to kill. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Also five. Oh my God. Wait, a fruit has spawned! Yeah, guys, that is absolutely crazy. That's like almost the same damage. <laughs> And keep in mind, mastery actually gives you more levels. As you can see right now, if I look at my sword, it will say plus something. Like only plus 41, which means that I get an extra free... 41 stat points. As a matter of fact, when I have my Dark Blade equipped with almost level 400 on it, yeah, I almost get an extra 170. So, Midnight Blade actually quite powerful. Now, where is this freaking fruit? <laughs> there it is. Wait, is it dark? Bomb. Oh, dang it. Can't even store it. Well, in the ocean you go. Now, we actually just randomly came across this guy. So, you know what? I'm just going to quickly kill him. Because my man will give me a lot of good mastery, I think. Hello, little boy. Give me my give me my mastery. Thank you. We're not going to get 150, are we? There's no way. 125. That's still pretty good. So, no. Now that we don't have a better fruit, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's keep uh, let's keep on grinding here. We already got a new quest just now, so we can go right there. Hello, please tell me I can do the ship steward. Where's the ship steward? Please tell me it's these. Yes. Okay, I actually love grinding these guys. These guys are one of my favorite to grind because all you need to do is pretty much run in a circle, and that's it. It's amazing. <laughs> and by the time you reach the first one again, it's almost respawned again. Any second now? Come on, don't make me look like an idiot. Okay, why is it taking so long to respawn? Okay, there it is. All right, you love to see it. Give me those levels. Woo! Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I literally just got there and it just respawned. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, well, look at that. We just unlocked the first ability. So I've seen this before. Now, I think it might have actually gotten some changes. So, come on. Oh, <laughs> actually, I don't know if that's any different. I don't quite remember. It's been a long time since I've used this sword. But hey, I really like that ability. It's going to be quite nice, actually, as a Buddha user to just like, bang, be able to hit that. It's fast. Bang. Actually, I'm way too late. <laughs> 
Ah, so here we go. New quest available. Also, we're already up to level 217. So we're doing pretty good so far. But uh, yeah, let's actually do it this next quest. The ship officer. I think they will be right up here. Yes. Ah, new quest available. What is the new quest going to be? Wait, where do we go? Oh, 3,000. Wait, we've reached the next area. Wait, my light's off. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize the light was off. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Dude, let's freaking go, man. All right, so we're currently at level 260. Almost 260. Um, We're getting closer and closer to finally getting our second ability. And honestly, I can't freaking wait. Wait, is that going to be the... <gasps> I think we finally reached the ice castle, dude. Let's go. That means that we're getting closer and closer to actually making it to the third C. And believe it or not, there's a lot of good swords in the third C. All right, baby. Arctic warriors. You're going to get it. <laughs> I think this is them. No. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. We got to kill these guys. Okay, cool. Well, let's grind these guys all the way until we finally reach the magical 600. Sorry, not 600. 325. Because from what I can remember, the Crescent Dash is actually a really good movement ability as well. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty sick. All right, baby. Only 50 levels away from getting 325. Wait. I think I can actually just kill this guy real quick. Yeah, I can just kill this guy real quick. That's actually going to make me gain levels even faster. What? I am an idiot for not doing this sooner. Now, sadly, it will not give me a lot of, like, actual levels, but that's all right. All right, baby. Time to kill this fool. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Okay, we have to activate our abilities. I was about to say, he's actually using Logia. <laughs> all right. Set the awakened... Yeah, uh, awakened Ice Admiral. And he's almost dead already. Killing this guy is super easy. Give me a whopping, like, eight levels. Yeah, let's just do that a couple times. Easy peasy. Also, free money. Yeah, this is by far the easiest way you can actually get these levels, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> New quest available. Let's go. Now, I've been grinding the quest a little bit. Got a little tired of server hopping. So, yeah. I mean, we're getting very, very close now. So, theoretically, any minute now, we should be able to get there. Ah! Oh, hit me with the ice. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, that just scared me. Come on, I need like, I need one more kill to get the final ability. Come on! Frickin' give it to me already. Thank you. Finally, guys, we have reached every ability on the Midnight Blade. Now, let's see how good is this dash. Come on! Oh, wait. I just realized, is the Midnight Blade inspired by the door fruit? Here, look, like portal opening and like, it all sounds very door fruit-esque. And actually, the Crescent Moon Dash is very similar to that of doors. Look, they're, they're like, it leaves like a tra trace of the player behind and stuff. Dude, that's actually super cool. But yeah, I, I remembered it actually dashing you further than it really does. I gotta be honest with you. It's, it's, it's not that great. <laughs> Here, let's see though. Damage. Ooh, 4,000 damage. And this one does 3,600. Yeah, that's actually really good. Incomplete. Comparison, Dark Blade, 4,400 though. Uh, 4,600. Actually, I had two two things that, right there. Yeah, guys, I don't know if the Midnight Blade is really all that good. Um, It's a cool blade though. I think visually it looks freaking sick. I mean, look at that sword. Woo! It looks like something out of an anime. But yeah, it is not all that PvP viable and it's not really gonna do you too much good if your life had to depend on it. But hey, <laughs> with that guys though, I'm gonna be heading off to this video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe. When we get to 500K, I'm gonna be doing a very special video including a lot of permanent fruits so uh make sure you uh subscribe right now see you later boys peace